Right, so some of you might remember this time lapse rail. It's a, a variant on the previous uh, blog articles I've done on, on uh, lapse pie. Um, but I've made a few modifications. Um, so the case is slightly different. It's a neater unit with the, um, the electronics below the Raspberry Pi. Um, it's not mounted correctly yet, but you know, early days. Um, the main change is, I'll just switch it on and show you, mounted a touch screen on it. Um, it's the Adafruit um, Pi TFT uh, touch screen. It's a 320 by 240 um, touch screen display. Um, and it boots up um, into the console. And what I've added for this, I've taken um, cam.py Philip Burgess, programmed by Philip Burgess, and I've adapted it, changed all the screens, um, added some GPIO handling, added the, the Python code that I had in the previous blog, and made Laps Pi Touch, which is actually a touch version of the, the Laps Pi. So, um, just to show you the user interface in a bit more detail, let's focus there. Um, so it shows you the details of um, the interval, of the intervals, the pulses of the frames. Um, I can change the settings. Um, by the settings screen, so any of the three sections we can change. Say so we change the pulse from 100 milliseconds, so we make that 500. So we have a nice numeric keypad here for entering the, um, entering all the numbers. Um, Say so we want to change the interval down to from 3,000 to 2,000 milliseconds, and we'll leave the frames at 150. Um, also on this screen, we can drive the motor. So just by pressing the motor button we can actually select which direction by this button all right so we can change direction so using these combination of these two buttons we can actually position the um, dolly back to there and the dolly back to the beginning of the rail then change direction ready for the ready to start the time lapse so once we're happy with the settings and the direction of the motor uh, we click OK and then we just click start. So again off it goes and it'll show the progress, say two frames of 150. Um, I haven't changed that one hour 20 minutes yet, that's just fixed for the moment. Um, but it gives you an idea of you know how nice a touch screen is for um, you know it's a standalone solution, you don't need a, an iPhone or a I mean, an Android phone to um, change the settings in your um, your time lapse. Uh, so it's quite basic at the moment, just those two screens, uh, but it's enough to get you going. Um, so that's what I call my latest project, Laps Pi Touch. Thanks very much.